Like we say, we were good together. I would say, we had fun. A love from my past would reignite and burn on and on. What is that? My horoscope. That's my weekly prediction. Genie! Oh my god, I said astronomy, not astrology. Oh. Uh, oh my god, Genie, you're so dumb. I'm sorry, I get them mixed up. Don't ever change, you are so entertaining. Okay. What are you doing? Homework. Two girls from my consumer ed class are here. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. That was Amber. She's smart. Oh, should we get back to the project now? Sure. Um, can you pass me that marker there on your right? Oh, sorry, I meant the other one. Oh, right. I mean left. I mean left is right. <laughs> you, this one, sorry. Hey. I'm still working on the whole left and right thing. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> Back in grade two. So the question is, how much money would you save each month if you used your lipstick as blush? Um, are we sure that this is the question we want to go with? I don't know. I mean, it's relevant, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll need a graph. Do you have a ruler? Maybe you could use uh, the edge of a book. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Molecular hypothesis? Jenny, what's like this? Uh, I, I just found that. Quantum physics? Did you find this one too? Uh, yeah. Longitudinal wave theory? Origins of the universe? Jeannie, why do you have these? Um, I was just holding them for a friend. What's going on? Have you been reading them? A little. I'm sorry. Why would you be sorry? I don't know. Why are you acting so guilty? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Judy, what's going on? <laughs> nothing, nothing, I swear. It's just, it's just wave theories and chemical biology and molecular physics. You're not really dumb, are you? Okay, well, it all started with this. What is it? It's a smartphone app. Well, it's the code that went into it. It's really stupid. I made it when I was like eight. Eight? Yeah, it's not like it's super complicated. I couldn't even make my bed when I was eight. <laughs> and it's called make a wish? Yeah, see, it's really stupid. It's like the dumbest thing. You just make a wish and it tells you if it's gonna come true or not. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not real. It's just a randomization code, like one of those magic eight balls. Oh. Well, could we get it in the app store? It's too old, I never updated it. So why'd you make it? I'm doing it for a boy. A what? <clears throat> I did it for a boy. A boy? Yes, a boy. Okay, I know, it's really stupid. I wish that he would like me back, but he never did. <laughs> well, what boy? <laughs> I'd rather not say. Oh, come on! <laughs> Look, it's embarrassing, okay? And he still goes to our school. And he's nerdy. So are you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody knows that, and I want to keep it that way. Well, why? People don't always like smart girls. They don't? Every time somebody finds out I'm smart, they assume that I'm better than them, and then they don't want to be around me anymore. Well, wouldn't it be better if people knew who you really were? I've just found it harder to have friends that way. How smart are you? That's pretty smart. <laughs> it's another smartphone app. I'm still working on it. I don't think that's gonna fit in my phone. <laughs> it will eventually. Just right now you need to make sure you have enough power. What does it do? 
It allows for molecular displacement of multidimensional objects. Okay, like a 3D printer, but in reverse. I still don't really get it. It digitizes matter, turns the molecules into zeros and ones, and allows for them to be captured on a storage device like a phone or a computer. Yeah, I saw this in a movie once. I'll show you. I've only been using small things so far, like a piece of thread. You might want to stand back. You don't want to be in the field of view. Okay. Oh my gosh. Where did it go? Right here. Wow. <gasps> it worked. <gasps> you guys have to swear you can't tell anyone about this. <laughs> so now you think you're a genius. It's just a hobby. Oh, I didn't know being fake could be a hobby. It's no big deal. No big deal? Well, I guess neither is our friendship. I told you two this was gonna happen. I only told Mr. Sparks. I didn't think he was gonna tell the whole class. He's a blabbermouth. And he's running the science fair and we need more students to join, especially girls. You should do it. Why? So I can lose more friends? So you can show everyone how awesome you are. Yeah, and if your friends don't appreciate the real you, then we will. Absolutely. I can't. Why not? He'll be there. Who? Cameron? No. Anton? No. Thomas? Yeah. Oh my god. He's the one. He's your second grade crush. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay, well, Thomas is like, you know, he he is, he's great. I can't. I get way too nervous around him. I mean, feel my hands. Ew. And that's just with him over there. That's ridiculous. He should be nervous around you. I mean, you're way out of his league. But I'm not out of his league. He's nice, and he's funny, and yeah, he's nerdy, but I always thought we were meant to be together. So why haven't you said anything to him? Because I was afraid I'd say something stupid and ruin it. Oh, well, this is the perfect opportunity for you guys to get together. And I'll be there. I'm the teacher's helper in the science fair. No, no, it'll be too awkward. GD, you can do this. Yeah, come on. Entry presentations are tomorrow after school. I can get you a spot. Nobody knows this about me. Well, it's time to show everyone who you really are. And it's through analyzing the antigens within the blood that we're able to determine the blood type. Now, some blood types mix well with others and some need specific matches, like mine. I have AB positive blood, so I can receive blood from anyone, whereas almost no one can receive blood from me. Kind of like how I laugh at other people's jokes, no one laughs at mine. Uh, that that was a joke, which further proves my hypothesis, extra credit? <clears throat> no? Hey, never mind. That was a joke, too. Thanks, Thomas. Excellent project. We'll see you at the fair. Stick to the science, though. Yeah, thank you. He's so funny. You think? Yeah. He said no one laughs at his jokes, and then no one laughed. That's, like, so ironic. Jenny Rutherford. Hi. It's Jeannie. When you're ready. Just trust yourself. Hi. So, my experiment involves molecular displacement using an app I developed for my phone. Uh, ambitious? Have you tested it? Yes, using dust particles and thread, but for this demonstration, I will be using this circular three-dimensional polymer. You mean a plastic button? Yes. <clears throat> 
So this application acts as a basic conductor between a car battery and an infrared molecular diffracting lens, which I have installed inside my phone. By disconnecting the regulator from the car battery and replacing it with a delimiter, I was able to maximize the electrical discharge while at the same time decreasing the electrical current to exactly 55 amps using these two voltage converters. This causes the separations of the ions within the molecules during defragmentation, thereby reversing the molecular vortex and creating what is essentially a boiling point for defragmentation. This creates a binary platform for the atoms and allows for the molecules to be digitized and thereby free to be captured by the diffracting lens and stored inside the phone. So yeah, I will demonstrate that now. <laughs> I just, um, I think I just needed to, That's um, very entertaining, Jenny. It's Jeannie. Well, it was nice meeting you. I, can I have a redo? I don't see the point. Well, I swear it works. I can use a piece of thread instead. I appreciate the effort. It's a lovely craft. Who's next? Sorry. Why would you make me do this? Lily, who's next? Oh, um, it's, uh, Peter Harris. I'll just go get him. Jeannie? You okay? Nope. It really wasn't that bad. Yeah. Now I don't have to pretend I'm dumb anymore. Cause I am. Well, I know it works. I've seen it and I could tell Mr. Sparks that. Don't bother. I'm done. Don't give up. Why not? I mean, perfect timing, right? I lost my friend. I humiliated myself in front of my crush. I think they call that rock bottom. Well, then it can only get better. Here, I know what we're gonna do. You're gonna make a wish. No, I'm not. Oh, come on, some positive thinking can really turn things around. <sighs> That's just a stupid app. You know what I wish? I wish that I could just crawl inside my phone and die. Lily, are you helping or not? Go. Just leave me alone. Well, I'll see you after school and I'll let you know what Mr. Sparks says. Don't bother. Did you ever consider a secondary grounding source? Huh? What? I, I thought your project was interesting. You did? Yeah, with demolecularization, though, it helps to have a secondary grounding cable attached to the subject. Huh? <laughs> uh, at least according to one of Faraday's lesser known principles, it increases molecular capacity during defragmentation. Right. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be a cable, though, as long as the subject is touching something metal. Of course. I was thinking also, if, if you raise the temperature of the transistors in your phone, it allowed them to communicate without touching. Uh, theoretically, it would create a more friendly ecosystem for molecular displacement. What temperature? Uh, you could just sit on your phone, your body's hot enough. It is? Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I mean, you, you know what I mean. Jeannie, good effort. And hey, don't worry about bombing. Cheerleader tryouts are next week. You can always try to do that. Let's go. After you view those graphs from calculus. Thomas? Yeah? Nothing. Never mind.
loser. Whose phone? I don't know. It's dead. You know the rules. No phones. Today? No. That's weird. She wasn't in first block. She's probably still feeling bad about yesterday. Yeah, maybe. See you later. See you. Lily, you know the rule. Phone in the pocket. Sorry. Now. Can I go to the bathroom, please? You just got here. Well, it's kind of a girl thing. She? I don't know, at home, at her grandma's house, at the grocery store, literally anywhere is more logical than inside a phone. Okay, you're gonna get me in trouble, I gotta go. Martial arts competition. Are you okay? I think I should go to the nurse. How do we know it's really you? Because look at me. I'm right here. Yeah, but like, you could be an evil spirit or something. That literally makes no sense. Well, neither does this. Okay, Judy, say something only we would know. Like what? What's your favorite food? Pizza. That could be anybody. Okay, what's your favorite color? Red. 
That doesn't confirm it. These aren't even things that we know. Well, what's something only we would know? Who's your secret crush? You better not screenshot this. Oh my gosh. How did you do that? It's actually like really cool in here. I have access to all the apps. I can text, tweet, take photos, anything. Here, watch this. New wallpaper. Okay, but you can't stay in there. How are we gonna get you out? Okay, step one. We're gonna have to text her mom and tell her that she's sleeping over tonight. Technically, that's not even a lie. Exactly. Hey, Jeannie, text your mom. You don't have to say it like that. I'm not Siri. Oh, right. Sorry. So how do we get you out? Well, it's kind of complicated. Yeah, but you're smart, right? Well, yeah, but I never exactly planned this far ahead. Well, how did you get the thread out? I didn't exactly get it out, get it out. So it's still in there? No. Well, where is it? I deleted it. Oh. Are you sure about this? <sighs> what if your mom needs to go somewhere? Well, she already took her bra off and she's watching The Bachelor. Trust me, she's not going anywhere. It is on the positive. Okay, try again. Nothing. Hang on. Where are you going? I'm adjusting the code. Okay, one more time. It's still not working. And again? No. I've repeated everything. I'm close, I know I'm close. I'm just missing something. I think I know what it is. Lily, well, you made a wish, right? Huh? With your wishing app. You wish to be inside your phone. That was just a coincidence. That has nothing to do with this. Well, how do you know? Because there's nothing scientific about that app. Well, it's at least worth the try. It doesn't make sense. You're talking to me from inside of a phone. That doesn't exactly make a lot of sense either. Maybe there's something beyond science going on here. There's nothing beyond science. Science is the beginning and the end. Well, how do you know that? Because I researched quantifiable evidence and this was just a silly app for fun. Well, what about your wishes? Did any of them ever come true? No! I only ever wished for one thing and it never came true. I don't believe in wishes anymore. And even if I did, I can't. Well, why not? I deleted the app off my phone. It doesn't even exist anymore. So it's gone? The only other person who ever had it was Thomas, and that was back in grade two. Don't even think about it. You never know. He might still have it. He won't. Trust me. Uh, no, I don't have it anymore. Did you delete it? I don't remember. It was an old iPad. What's this for? Just this graduation project for Jiggity. Try to compile some old memories. <laughs> she said that she liked you and that's why she gave it back to you. She did? Yeah. Well, well we were just kids. That was a long time ago. So you don't have the iPad? I, I don't hold on to old things like that. Right. Of course not. Oh, but, but I do. These are so adorable. Aren't they? Totes adorbs. <laughs> oh, these are his soccer shoes. Only played one year, wasn't interested. Here's his participation ribbon for sports day at school. And another, oh, it's a participation banner for being a player in soccer. He has a lot of participation ribbons. Mm -hmm. What's this doing in here? Oh, well, that's his whisk. He always had to sleep with that. It was so cute. <laughs> okay, Mom. Hang on. Oh, this is when he sat up by himself in the bath. Let me see. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's my old iPad. Oh, yes, the babysitter. <gasps> is the wishing app still on it? Well, let's find out. I know I have a charge cord in here somewhere. Hmm, somewhere. 
And we're back. Make a wish. This is so cute and amazing. Jeannie was such a smart little cookie. She inspired you, didn't she? I can't remember. He would not be top science and technology student if it were not for her. And it started with this app. He was mesmerized by it. Staying up at night, making wishes, crying if it said they weren't coming true. No, I didn't cry. No. He couldn't say Jeannie. He used to call her Gigi. Oh. He was so impressed by this, he wanted to be just like her. It was such a cute little crush. Okay, Mom. Yeah, I, I, I think I can take it from here. Oh. Well, well, all right. Embarrassing mother. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you. Oh, who wants juice? What flavors do you have? Oh, I think pineapple, orange juice, of course, mango, I think pomegranate. So, uh, what exactly do you guys need? Can you get that up on this phone? Yeah, I just need my laptop. Okay, it's loading. Okay, do you think it'll work? Yeah, it's the same operating system, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, Jeannie uh, must have been pretty cute in grade two. Uh, yeah. That's so cute that you used to have a crush on her. Well, she kind of had it all. She was smart, pretty, and friendly. I'm sure she was pretty cool, too. Not, not cool. Like, not what most people think of as cool. She was dorky for sure, but to me that was cool. Okay, it's loaded. And what about now? Jean? Yeah. Uh, she's still a lot of those things. She's just cool in a different way, though. Like, regular cool now. But it, it's better that way. I'm trying to get scholarships for next year, and I gotta stay focused. You know, I can't be thinking about girls. Well, is she someone you think about? Why are you asking me all this? Because what if she liked you? Yeah, sure. Well, what if she did? Okay, girls like that, they're not into guys like me. That's not true. She made that whole app because she had a crush on you. Like like 10 years ago? Uh, she, she's different now. Have you, have you seen who she hangs out with? Well, what if she still likes you? <laughs> yeah, I, I wish. That's weird. Well, well, either way, it doesn't matter. She, she was like amazing when I knew her, but she's not the same little girl and I'm just some nerdy guy to her now. No, you're not. What the? You're not just some nerdy guy. Gee, what, 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 that, what the heck? Uh, she's trapped inside the phone. How, how are, are you okay? I'm fine, sort of. My experiment worked. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I think it was the secondary grounding source like you suggested. Right, o oh, okay, wow. So, do you think that you could help us get her out? I, I don't know, I, I mean, like yeah, I, I hope, I, I think. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, but where's the device? Oh, is that Sierra's house? Okay, we'll go get it, we'll need it, and uh, yeah, how'd this happen? It's a long story. Okay, uh, we'll let you guys catch up and we'll be right back, okay? Can you guys make it fast? Yeah? The battery is not charging from your cord. I think one of the conductors blacked out when I entered the phone and me being in here is actually taking up more power. Well, what would happen if the battery died? I'd rather not find out. Okay, we'll be really fast. Uh, just behave yourselves. So, what's it like in there? It's actually pretty cool. Like a digital universe, a whole new world. I, I, I can't believe you did this. This is something a scientist would only dream of. Yeah, it's pretty scary though, not knowing if I'm gonna get back out. Right. Hey, um, uh, so I, I, I didn't realize you could uh, hear everything earlier. I hope it wasn't awkward. It's fine. Awkward moments are kind of my thing. Right. I'm gonna close the wishing app to save power. I'll be right back. Okay, good idea. Oh. Oh, what's, what's wrong? The results screen needs to close first. You need to get your wish. Oh. 
Yeah. I can just do it. I mean, it's your wish, though. Sorry, more awkwardness. I can just do it. It's just random. I can just do it. No, I, I got it. Okay. What's the matter? Um, you're kind of blocking it. It should still work. Uh, can you just shift over? Okay. Better? Uh, a, a, a little bit more. Uh, got it. <laughs> so, why don't you export the codes? If we're gonna reverse engineer this, I better break it down on my laptop. Okay, good idea. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. I'll be right back. Hey, Mr. Schmidt. How's the bachelor? Not now. Maddie, do you accept this rose? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. Bye, Mrs. Schmidt. And that starts the molecular degeneration process upon which it's built. Okay, so regenerating the molecules is possible then. Yes, in theory. So we just need to put into practice. Here it is. <laughs> Great, let's, let's sit up. Okay, what can we do? Get the cables attached. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lily, this is like the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I, I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Okay, Ginny, I need you to let me know all the different variables within the molecular degeneration function. All right. Starting with line 891. First variable is 32.8-9464-84-43-54-66-0.4285-49-82-511.16-89.63-1988. and How'd you think to bypass the electromagnetic current through the sensor? Isn't that what your spectral imaging filter project was all about? In grade 10? Yeah. And no, it was based upon the attenuation of light waves reflected through video laryngoscopes. Oh. But how'd you even know about that? I saw it on your Instagram. Huh. I didn't know you followed me on Instagram. I don't, technically. I just go to your page sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a stalker. <laughs> oh, it's cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm reversing line 231 and 233. Okay, let me match that up. You should nullify line 232. I'll keep it active on my end, though. Okay. Done. Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life Having dreams in a dream, I wonder Why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind There's no way I can undo what I've done Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mind. Yes, I ran out of town. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. And that's the final variable. Locked and loaded. So we're set. It's all there. It, it should work. What if it doesn't? Just don't think about that, okay? We don't have time. Thomas? Yeah? When I get out... Yeah, yeah? Can we... What? Go back? Y you mean like... Like... Before? Sure, yeah. I, I mean like if that's what you want. That's my wish. We're at five percent, we better do this. Okay. Thank you for helping me. Whatever happens. It's gonna work, okay? Don't worry. Okay. Promise. I trust you. I'll see you soon. So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mind, yes I ran out of town, there's no hope for me I fell down the bottom, so I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print Oh no 
what, 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 what did I do? I don't think she's gonna have a problem being herself anymore. I know I can't make you mind you so ran out of time. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print. Thank you. 